Welcome in everyone. Picks and parlays, better's edge. NFL wildcard weekend goes to a weekday on Monday. We're looking at Monday night football. We've got the Eagles and the Bucks. The Philadelphia Eagles early on in the season, we know that they didn't maybe look believable to have the record that they did, but regardless, they were finding ways to win and they had the talent to do it. Now they come in against a fired up Tampa Bay Buccaneers team with Baker Mayfield leading the charge. And not to mention, Jalen Hurts looks a bit beat up. He has the finger issue now. He had an ankle struggle earlier, or what looked to be a lower body, lower leg injury throughout the season. He just looks like he's been battling through some things. Their defense seems to be collapsing. They're still a two and a half point favorite, but definitely not what we thought or predicted if you would have told me this was our game earlier in the season, what this number would have been. So how are you feeling about this one, Pony? Do you do you have the guts to take the Bucks money line in this one? Yeah, I do. I, I I don't think I could live with myself if I took Philadelphia, having watched them the last few weeks. And I'm no stranger to trying to find teams that are you're getting a value on or a deal on because of the way they've played the last few weeks or the way they've looked. I mean, that's one of the strategies that a lot of professional betters use to zig when everybody else zags. But the Eagles are favored here. And I just, in, in good conscience, can't pick them. I, if you're going to lay two and a half, I mean, you feel like, you, you obviously have to feel like they're going to win the game. Uh, they played early in the season, week three, two completely different teams. The Eagles won the game 26 to 11. It was in Tampa. I think that's completely irrelevant to what's happened to the Eagles. If the Bucks are limping, into the playoffs because they only beat the Panthers nine to nothing and lost two weeks ago at home to new Orleans. The Eagles are, if, if it's a race, they're passed out and they need a paramedic. They need a gurney to carry them the rest of the way. Cause they're done. They're cooked. In my opinion, I, 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 I picked them to win the super bowl, Hannah back in August. I hate this team right now. I see no redeemable qualities in them. They have the worst defense that made the, the playoffs I think they're like 30th in points allowed, which is insane that a team that bad defensively could even make it to the postseason with double-digit wins. Their offense is so injured. Jalen Hurts does not look like the guy he was last year in the playoffs. Their offensive line has aged terribly in the second half of the season. Unless it's fourth and inches, Hannah, I don't know what else they do well. So I am taking the Bucks plus two and a half, and you're darn right. My bigger bet is to bet them you know what? Scrap that. I'm betting them money line to take this game. I'm not even going to fool around with the points. I like Tampa to beat Philadelphia. You? Hey, tell us how you really feel, Pony. My goodness. Get it off you your chest. you agree with me? I feel like, I, mean, I, feel like I, I absolutely agree with you, and I felt like I just sat through a therapy session. I feel like Eagles fans need to talk to you right now because that's how they probably feel at this point, too. They should feel really disgraced that with the way they performed last year, that they're going into Tampa Bay as a two-and-a-half-point favorite against a Baker Mayfield led Bucks who at the beginning of the season, we thought this would just be nice for Baker to redeem himself a little bit, but wouldn't necessarily be the quarterback. He's making one heck of an argument for himself right now. And I will say this as well. Tampa Bay has just been on a roll winning five of their last six. They have the healthier quarterback in this one. And I think that's going to make the difference. I'm not convinced that the finger injury to Jalen Hurts was going to be something that can affect him. Well, then you would think the Eagles would resort to running the ball. They haven't done that well this year. The defense seems like they can't stop anyone. And for those reasons alone, you gave Tampa Bay a, a glimmer of hope and they're going to take it and run with it. I'm not going to take them on the money line. I would love to, but I think my better bet here, uh, because like you said, I, I could make it a strong argument for Tampa Bay in a bunch of ways to take them on the money line. But I'll go ahead and play this one safe and take the Bucks at plus two and a half. Because something that if there's anything I could say positive about what the Eagles have done, there are late plays in games that Jalen Hurts has put the team on his back, carried them and scored late in a game to make it close or win. So if this comes down to a one point swing here, that's where the argument I would make to take the Bucks at plus two and a half and why I could stand there. But I did not think at this point, if you would have told me earlier in the season that you and I would be sitting here taking Tampa Bay in the playoffs against the Eagles, I would have said you were crazy. So pretty wild things happening here on Better's Edge Pony, but I like it. I like what we've got going on. Just don't, for uh, people that are casual betters that obviously haven't watched the Tampa Bay Buccaneers that much this year, they see the numbers with Mayfield and the stats and everything else. 
Their defense is actually the best part of their team. They're a top 10 defense in points allowed. That's Todd Bowles' background. He is a defensive coach. So that's just another reason to like the Bucks in this game. It, I When this line came out, I was incensed that the odds makers gave Philly the benefit of the doubt with how poorly they had played the last few games, losing at home to Arizona, getting blown out by the Giants, and they played their starters at the beginning of this game. They have no right. They are, in my opinion, Hannah, the worst team that made the playoffs. Their record doesn't say that, but power ranking teams right now, I think Philly is the worst team that made the postseason. Yeah, and you're saying that over the Steelers, which is pretty crazy. But in all fairness, Philly's probably the team that was trending in the opposite direction of everyone else coming into the playoffs. You can make an argument for everyone else on the climb. Philly's the one team you can't make that argument for. So definitely be careful with these numbers here um, because I think the odds makers are giving the statistics of what Philly was doing earlier this season, the benefit of the doubt, not necessarily the eye test. And I think the eye test is very important yep. when it comes to these two teams in the playoffs. This is Picks and Parlays Better's Edge. If you want all of our wildcard weekend picks, make sure you download that Picks and Parlays app. It's available on all mobile device platforms. And good luck because we are super pumped up and ready for some more therapy sessions uh, come next week, I think, here, Pony, as well. 